everything heavy when we step up You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow Yeah, everything check, come Stella Welcome, beautiful people. I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. In today's video, I'll be doing my updated wash and go routine using the finger coil method. Now, my hair is freshly washed, already deep conditioned, all that good stuff. I just removed my lock, so I'll have a takedown video for you guys. And I'll be using the Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss Coconut Gel to achieve this look. Now I have low porosity here, so I have to do my hair drenching wet. So I'm wearing the shower cap just to keep the water in my hair while I do section after section. So first things first, I detangle my hair, then I'm gonna work the gel into my hair. So as I said, low porosity here. You gotta make sure you work that product in there. You gotta make sure that your hair is wet. To achieve this style then i'm going to be using this bristle brush or you can use a denman brush or whatever you have to brush through the hair and then i'm going to do the finger coil now you guys will realize that i'm not finger coiling all the way from the root to the end i'm mostly doing like the middle of my hair down to the end because we're going to stretch the hair later on so it doesn't have to be tight i want volume i want my hair to be bigger i want it to be fluffed up a bit so i'm not going to do it too tight so it's mostly for my coils to come together to give it like a defined look but also give it volume without it being too snug and tightly coiled together. Now for this updated routine, I've decided not to do much else product. I'm only using one product for this wash and go. So no leave-in, no oil, just the Aunt Jackie gel. Now you don't have to use this gel, but you do want to use a conditioning gel. You wanna use a gel that won't dry your hair out. Whichever gel that is for you, for me, it is the Aunt Jackie don't shrink or the the curl boss those two on jackie gel is the bomb.com for me when it comes to um definition but also leaving my hair soft and shiny so with a lot of products usually i i'll see like my hair gets really heavy it doesn't have much volume to it when i use too much product like the extra products like um a cream leave-in and all of that because first of all my hair is low porosity i'm not even supposed to be using heavy products so i'm just doing this routine for the first time just to see how my hair will turn out so i'm just gonna leave you guys to just see me coil up the rest of my hair and then we're gonna move on to the next step Now for this wash and go, I'm just gonna do like a side part type of situation. You can do whatever style you wanna do, but you wanna make sure that you're gonna be molding your hair in the direction that you want it to fall. So I'm doing the whole side profile type of thing. And as you guys see, after I take off the shower cap or the whatever cap, it's called a shower cap, right? Yeah, it's called a shower cap. So after I remove that, I have to make sure that for every section I'm applying water, water, like, oh my God, like what is wrong with my speech? I'm uh, making sure that I'm applying water for every section. So make sure you have your spray bottle on hand.
Now with the finger coil wash and go, the shrinkage will be very real with this method, but not to worry, we're gonna fluff it out and do all the good stuff later on. Now my hair takes a while to dry, so I will be using a diffuser to dry my hair. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to air dry while I do my makeup. Now this is what my hair is looking like after I have let it air dry and use a diffuser. Like the shrinkage is real, okay, but not to worry. We're going to switch it up. You're going to see the transformation and I'll be using this blow dryer and it comes with an attachable or attachable piece that I'll be using to stretch my hair. Now I have reviewed this blow dryer in a previous video and I'm going to show you guys like the stretch method. Now I must say this method, you won't use it on a regular. This is not a method that you'll use every single wash and go. It's for a special occasion okay like if you got somewhere to go that you ain't got no time to wait for your hair to stretch the natural way by using the um, hair tie method you you got somewhere to go so you're gonna use the blow dryer but use this occasionally not all the time we got that okay now the cool thing about this blow dryer is that it can detect when i have wet areas so you want to make sure that your hair is dry before you do the stretch method with your blow dryer so when it's on blue when you see that blue circular thingamajig that means that that area is already dry but it's just gonna apply low heat onto the area which is really good so it doesn't apply like too too much heat to my hair or any at all it's mostly like on a cool setting so it's detecting where it's already dry and it will reduce the force and the heat applied to my hair. So I'm just gonna continue to do that and um, just stretch the hair. So you don't wanna like put the blow dryer all the way down to the ends cause you wanna keep the coily ends. So it's mostly from the root. That's why I didn't like tightly coil the roots. So I'm just gonna apply it from the roots closer to the middle and that is a stretch method like you guys see the complete transformation now i'm just gonna play with my hair a bit fluff it up give it some volume if you have a pick on hand use the pick you just gotta play with your wash and go until you get the best results now this um i took over an hour to do my makeup and i'm just gonna factor in an extra 30 minutes so that is the amount of time it took for my hair to completely dry then I'm going to apply this Cream of Nature um, Shine Mist onto my hair just to give it a little bit more shine. And then I'm going to use the Edge Booster Edge Control to just sleek them edges, you know, give a little bit of a slight swoop to the dupe, nothing extra, you know, but you don't have to do all of that. Honestly, you don't. But if you're about that life like I am with the swoop to the dupe, you got to add a little bit of flair to the style. Okay, y'all know this is the final look. Like, guys, did you see the transformation from how it looked in the beginning after it's fully dried to the stretch and volume and fullness and bounciness that we are having right now? Only using one product to achieve this look. The shine and the bounce is everything. Now, if you're afraid of a little bit of frizz, I don't know what to tell you, but I ain't never shy of a little bit of frizz, okay? Frizz means some volume. And I love volume because my hair is more on the awkward length type of stage length i don't know what to call that but yeah we are living for the coils girl like it, it's bomb it's giving everything it's supposed to give comment down below what you think about this method this style like what do you use you use for your wash and go if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet go ahead and subscribe down below follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at damn that's chef and i'll see you guys in my next video go on big up on yourself Bye guys. Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. Let me 